Hi, I'm Kyle Oroz. I'm the principal at St. Joseph Pro Cathedral School, a Catholic partnership school. And this is one of my students, Javier Ortiz. He's in the fifth grade. And we were lucky enough to see the brain doctor from Rowan University. They brought all kinds of brains. What? Tell us some of the brains that they brought. They brought animal brains, human brains. Yeah. One they brought... Um, a horse one. It was a giant one. It was really big. Yeah. yeah. There was some, yeah. And we didn't get to touch those brains, but at one point they took the damp towels off of this tray and there were human brains. And the kids were able to pick up the brains. And I was a little bit squeamish on that. But Javier put on his gloves and went right over there and picked up the human brain. Javier, was it heavy? It was a little bit heavy because I felt like it was inside the water, but it was uh, heavy. Was it slimy and slippery? Yeah, it was slimy. It almost fell off my hands. Mm. <laughs> I know. It was pretty neat, though. Ed, isn't the brain? Is it's this thing. thing. What is this thing? Anybody know? Oh, this is uh, something that's filled with liquid. Ah, something that holds some liquid in, some cerebrospinal fluid it's called. So your brain doesn't like blood. It takes your blood and it filters it into a clear CFMP. solution. It looks like salt water. It's called cerebrospinal fluid. But what is this thing? Anybody know? It's like a little cap on the inside, huh? So check this out. This thing is alive. It's a living membrane on the top of your brain. It's called the Dora Mata. In Latin, that means a tough mother. It's a tough mother membrane that helps protect your brain and keep it in the skull from bouncing all over the place. If you look close at this, you can see it's got blood vessels in it. It's got cells in it. It's alive. But if you feel it, it feels like canvas or leather or denim. It's really tough okay. stuff. This is the Dora Mata, okay? Yes. The tough mother. From the periphery, from your arms and legs, and it comes to this cable. It goes up to the brain so you can figure out what's happening, okay? So right now I'm talking to you, and I can feel there's a mosquito, and he's biting me on my leg. What should I do? Smash. I just smacked him, right? And it's killing him. Well, if I want to make a movement, that's got to start up here in the brain. It's got to come down this cable and get to my muscles, right? I feel the mosquitoes biting me, the sensation comes up, I sense that I felt this before, I kind of know what it is, and I know how to respond. Smack, right? That happens really quick, right? Sensation comes in, your brain figures it out, and then you do something. The top of your brain is where your thinking cap is. So when you see a brain, this is where you think about stuff, and after you figure out what's going on, send it up to the frontal lobes and make a decision about what to do about it. Thanks for watching our video. If you would like to support educating children in Camden, here's a link to donate in the description below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so more people find out about our channel. Thanks for watching.